She came in the team from the start against Harrogate. Um, got yourself the goal. How would you sort of assess that game for yourself personally? Um, I feel like it was a good game. Um, it was uh, it was an exciting game. The first 20 minutes were jam packed with goals. Um, as a team, we were disappointed the way we conceded, but to bounce back the way we did, to bring it back to two all at half time, I think we showed we've got goals in us now. And then to go on and score another two in the second half just proved that point even further. And pleasing for you to get back yourself back in that 11 and get a solid win under a bounce. Yeah, yeah, definitely feels very good. Um, managers put his faith in me, so yeah, got to pay it back. Um, we've got two games in three days over the bank holiday weekend. Obviously, I know you'll have hopes to be starting maybe on Saturday. Um, but do you think the gaffer will probably make use of the squad and sort of rotate? Yeah, of when players? you've got games that, that close together, you, you the manager's got to got to be smart about it. Obviously, I want to play as much as I can. I want to get the chance to score as many goals as I can. And we want to win both of those games. We want to take all six points. Um, and we're really gearing up to it, really preparing right, make sure we're ready. And they are two very tough games. Do you think it's important to avoid any complacency to miss yeah. out any of them slip-ups that, that could potentially come with some of these tougher away days? Yeah, of course. I think as a squad, we're, we've got enough experience to not get complacent and to do everything right. We're going to go at them 100%, especially taking one, one at a time, really. We're not even thinking about Yeovil yet, we've got Eastern friends. And obviously, it's, it's easy for me to sort of talk about your sort of pace and stuff like that from a personal side of your game. Do you think stuff like that maybe sets you apart from some other assets that the Gaffer might have in this squad that can maybe offer more for the side? Yeah, definitely. There's, um, we've each got our attributes. Mine's my speed. Joe's a big guy, holds it up well. <coughs> Reese is a bit quick as well, tricky striker. Angelo's Angelo's Angelo. Um, but yeah, we've all we've all got our things we bring to the table. So the Gaffer's got he's got options where where he wants them. Um, we'll see how he picks the team on Saturday. Um, hopefully, I'm in it. <laughs> you mentioned some of those guys played behind you last Saturday for the majority of the game. You've got Luke Kay, Angelo, and Al McQueen out on the right. Um, do you, does it make your job that much easier when you've got guys like that yeah, playing definitely. around you? Yeah, we've all, we've got great players supplying me passes, so I don't need to worry about as much. I can just worry about being in the box, being in the right place at the right time, because I know those players, Alex, Luke, Dobber when he plays, Banks when he plays, they've all got the quality to just feed me the ball. And just to finish with, the fans were a really good voice again in the game against Harrogate. Even when we went 1-0 down, 2-1 down, I think they could see sort of the way we were going about the game. It was all positive. Do, do you guys really notice and appreciate that out on yeah, the Yeah, fans have been exceptional this season. I think we had a tough start with the, with the results, but Harrogate, they really showed when we went down, they really got behind us, they really pushed us on. So that was, we really felt that as a team that really helped us kind of come back into the game. And then, like I said, to go second half, they could feel we were on the ascendancy. There was a buzz about the place. So yeah, hopefully we carry that energy into, into the weekend.